Okay, only if you're an old lady or really bored is this going to be of any interest to you. Anyways, this is the parkway in front of my parents' house. Uh, this is what I've done with their front yard over the past several years as I've been trapped here, but agreed with the government to take care of them and to do their uh, yards, so I fixed it up like this. But this is all dirt, so I decided at the end of summer to start planting these plants, so when the rains hit, they would take, like they are, I don't know how green, that's a bunch of weeds, but they'll, they'll uh, kill themselves off, these plants will choke them out, they'll grow into this, which will just destroy everything, but what I started to do was make a runoff, so one plant, we get the water and go to the next, but what I should have done is bypass them like I did with this one. Because the ones that I bypassed took immediately. The ones that the water went actually through and the water stayed, it actually rotted the roots and it took longer. And then when the rain started to get, get ready to come, the first one got here when I was just coming back from Utah. I dug a ditch, a little trench, just to guide the water down and out. But instead, all of this that I kept dirt because it won't go to grass like this and capture anything. It just always turns to dirt and goes to crap. Uh, it caught most of it, but it started running over the sides. Apparently, it only ran over down there by the car. And I know exactly why, because I threw those rocks up on the uh, soil. And water and soil, the way they work together, if you study gold panning like I have, this right here, that's a weed. I gotta get that out of there, but not today. Just a demonstration on how this all flows, this river, this little stream. It's supposed to have connected all the uh, plants, so I could have just watered this, as you see, and then it just keeps going down, and down, and slowly it goes all the way down, till it hits the bottom, and then it part, part of the water is taken off to the side, and the other part goes to the aloe vera plant at the end that I took back from Nelson's house or Nelson's parents he was uh, when his dad died and his mom left he uh, squatted there for five years until they finally dragged him out but the agreement was I was going to give him one of those plants and he'd give me one of those plants, aloe vera. He didn't. So I stole two. There's one of aloe vera. And on the other side is that one. But as you can see, the water's coming down. So I put rocks in there to slow the water down and to capture most of the mud. Now see, that's not bad. That's no mud actually at all. That's just debris. But what happened was it got to these rocks and that's what made them, it, you know, this is not from that runoff. That went straight down and right here I had another thing for water to catch and to go down into that trench and it did. But right here you can see mud built up. At the very end, I dug a three foot deep hole, put a two a, a pipe, a two a, a pipe. So I had the rocks coming down here. And then I had two of those pipe ends. There's a pipe that goes down three feet. 
and in that whole area where the rocks are, I dug out. And then I covered it, and then poured rocks into the pipe, so as the water went down, it wouldn't erode as it rushed down in there, like it's appearing to do right here. That's where it's going in. You see, it's got nowhere to go. It'll fill itself in because it's got no rock or no escape. Now this, for some reason, keeps clogging up. I have no reason, no idea why, but it should just be clear. As you can see, I get rid of the dirt and water is supposed to come out the bottom, but it doesn't. Because the rock, and a little bit of rock, blocks the way of the, of it goes there. And I can see what's happening already. But down there you see the rock. That's to keep it from eroding. Now those holes I did in the bottom aren't big enough. So the water isn't going through as good as it should. What I really need to do is kind of keep this up and let the water just go in until I make those holes bigger. And if I lose this by some act of stupidity of kids, I can make another one from the one that's buried right here. Because what I did is I did another one to drain in, but it's. We got a lot of rain. All I'm trying to do is direct water, and it's very hard to direct rainwater because you never know what it's going to do until it actually rains. And then you're like, son of a... because it's coming from everywhere. So when you do a test like I did earlier and just ran the water straight, it's coming from one area. I know this is all probably really boring to people, like my train videos. I don't care. See, those are carnations, roses up there, but a lot of it is being taken over by this purple fountain grass, which I love because it reminds me of my old hair. No, it's easy. Once you get it to bloom or to take hold, it just takes off. So next year, these will all look like that. Well, at least those one, two, three, four will. And that one. This I think is dead. There's probably no hope unless a see like right here a seed or a yeah a seed is is taken in there. So that's the other reason I did the little teeny pea gravel river bed is to capture seeds. So plants could root like that one. That's another fountain grass plant. Which will turn into that, which will turn into this. See, these are over six feet tall now. Where three years ago they were like that or smaller. So that's it. This is before Thanksgiving. Checking out the crap because we had a pretty good storm last night. Wanted to see how everything held up. It holds up pretty good. See, a couple years ago, a few years ago, there was no grass. No grass ever was here. I came in, I seeded it, I did everything, and got the grass back. I don't know, I don't like that goofy little wooden uh, stick fence but my parents do or my mom does so it stays and then of course everything mom 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 whatever she wants it i have to plant like this dumb plant but it's hers she lets me do it my way i'll do it but, you know, <laughs> there's a, look at that, 
the ridiculous, ugly Armenian palace worth millions of dollars. That one's been there since 1994. So, I can't knock it. This gigantic monstrosity next door <coughs> is actually the first one. It was here in the 80s. So, my band used to practice, and they complain. We just cuss at them. Which was not nice, but I did it anyway. My dad said any bricks that are moved, he wants moved. So he moved that brick. So I have to move that. All of this needs to be chopped down. You're probably going, look at this area. This is a piece of crap. Well, we're not allowed to chop down this California oak. Even though it's pushing over the neighbor's wall and cracking my parents' wall. We can't touch it. So I'm not doing anything here. Except for rake the leaves every couple of months. But this, I cannot touch this oak. Just because it's a California live oak. Or California coastal oak. Which is a state tree. Which is illegal to even touch. I trimmed that crap out of it. I got up there last, uh, or this year actually, in May, and trimmed off all the stuff on the, it was touching the roof, but this is a, a nightmare to work with. But I can't even cut it down without getting a permit from the city because of its status as a state tree. So stupid. California is out of its mind. Which is sad because it's actually a nice place. I loved growing up here. But it's turned into a crap hole. And I'm tired of this house. But it's not my house. So. I just keep it up. As long as they insist on living here. But I think they're getting ready to move. And if they do, then I leave. I get to go back up to Utah. Where I've got some property. I'll either sell that and move closer to my son. Or just stay where my property's at. Which is in southern Utah. Alright, so that was my little demonstration. On how I'm trying to get that front piece of dirt to do something and the thing is that's the parkway the city owns that so if they wanted they could come in and tear everything up like that tree I planted I planted that tree 20 something years ago they were trimming that tree I took a piece and I jammed it into the dirt just because I thought it looked neat I went off got married you know was gone for years came back the damn thing took root and it wasn't getting water, so it went under the sidewalk and came up over here. So that and that tree are the same tree. So if I water that, that gets greener. It's crazy. But I like gardening. I learned it from my grandfather. <coughs> Another thing that's a... Uh, see, there's a poinsettia. Three-year-old poinsettia from three years old. Look at those two Armenian drug lords. Literally, those two guys are responsible for all the drugs run in Burbank. Their father was, but he died 40 years ago today at noon. Oh wait, on Thanksgiving at noon. So, whenever, tomorrow. And good riddance. I wish they would leave, but see how they park down there? They don't live there. They just keep all their the medication there. Not medication, they're drugs that they run. But whatever, no one cares. I've reported to the Burbank, city of Burbank, oh, something will stir and then it'll go away and they move in some relative or whoever, whoever owns that car. They usually used to have parties here, but they don't have that many now. They just keep, store all the medication there. They own this pharmacy. There's five of them in the city. If you go in there, you can't buy, 
any medication because it's all in that house and they sell it all underground. And there's your Thanksgiving story for the day. I'll do another one on Thanksgiving. I'm going to come home early. I'm going to do a guitar one. And I won't mention anybody's name because they're twits. All right, later.